So the correct answer is you should wait 10 minutes and then put in the milk. Well, we can understand that with Newton's law of cooling. It says the change in heat over time, dq slash dt, should be proportional with the difference in the room temperature and the temperature of the cup and some constants, but it's not important. The higher the difference in the temperature is, the more heat exchange will occur, obviously. So if you wait 10 minutes and then put in the milk, we will have fast cooling and then cold milk. But if we first put in the cold milk and then wait 10 minutes, we will have cold milk and slow cooling. And just for you, I measured it to show you. Here we are in my laboratory. We have two identical cups of coffee that are heated up. And on the left, we put in milk first and then we wait. And on the right, we wait and then we put in the milk. I'm measuring the temperature with an Arduino sensor. And this is what we measure. We have time on the X axis and we have temperature on the Y axis and the black dotted lines represent when we put in the milk. Of course, milk and first are coldless at the moment, but we are about to put in milk on the other cup of coffee, so what will happen? Let me just speed that up a bit. And now it's time to put in the milk, so let's go. What will happen? In goes the milk. And of course, the temperature drops significantly, as we can see here. And we have a winner, creamer in later, or milk in later, as we concluded before. A difference in around 5 degrees Celsius. Wow!